All right, what's up, guys? Ninja Deathstrike here, along with the Agrotech, uh, the Agrotech, and Robotnik is sexy. And it's time for a new episode of Generation One. It's only been Yay, a month two and a half. Month, month and a half, but it's, it's over time. Obviously, October is over. some some shit went down, and we got to talk about it. Well, so, we had to wait for for the the fallout of X and Y because we didn't right. want to spoil anything. Yeah, and we all wanted to play through it so we could yep. form our opinions. But uh, needless to say, there's a ton of stuff to talk about. We're not going to finish it all in one episode. So uh, this is going to be at least a two-parter, I would assume. And maybe we'll get the second part out a little sooner than normal. We'll see how that goes. But uh, That would be nice. Yeah. I think we'll, we'll do it in 30 minutes. So, so what's the focus of this episode? So, today's episode, we're going to um, try and talk about what we thought about the in-game stuff um, and try not to talk too much about the, what we think is going to happen competitively. We always get off topic, and there is so many places to get off topic here, so I'm sure that's not going to work out, but we're going to attempt to stick to the in-game stuff and try and keep it to a reasonable time, and then next time... We'll have a whole big episode where we cover all the competitive aspects. So, speaking of in-game, uh, what did you guys think of the game? I think we should all start with who we picked as our starter. Okay. Uh, that's that's funny because uh, we all picked different starters. I know. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I think everybody knew I was going to pick Froki because I always pick the water type. I actually wasn't sure, but I knew that you picked Froki because you told me. Uh, I I went with Chespin because I didn't know what the heck he was going to turn into. But <laughs> apparently, he turns into a armored man. A badnik. So he turns cool. into a badnik. He looks pretty yeah. cool. I like him. Yeah, it's, I do it's too. Div- it's divided in two camps whether people like his appearance or not. But I'm in the like camp. And I picked Fennekin. Stuck with my guns. <laughs> Froki, Froki was really cool, but I stuck with Fennekin, and I was not disappointed. She was amazing, and her final form uh, was amazing. You like her final form? I you love like it. The hey, Ar- the hey, Arnold. <laughs> it's not. It's it's based on the the Oracle of Delphi. Like, if you know the flavor from where it came from, I think it adds a lot to it. Oh yeah. So that's why that... she has like the torch and the dress and everything. I just That's I just cool. want to say that I was correct about the uh, the archetype. Yeah, well, you don't get bonus points because everyone. I'm just know, saying. That I, well, <laughs> just Good say for it. you, Agrotech. You did it. You did it. Good job. Good job for reading the leaks that were right 100 percent of the time. I'm not 100 <laughs> percent. A shockingly um, large percentage of the shocking, time. Like 95. Like, 95. like yeah. almost every leak was true. I was blown away. Yeah. Man, I should have like, like really? bet, bet you actual money, Andy. I would have been set for life. I'm, I still need to do that drawing for you. <laughs> I'll do it someday. Hopefully soon. <laughs> oh, I, I also want to talk about my... Uh, my midnight launch experience. Okay, that okay. was fun. And I don't know if I don't think either of you guys went to a physical no. game shop. But no, I downloaded it. Well, <laughs> um, me and a friend uh, got there at about ten. There was this girl and her boyfriend who were there from like four thirty, like waiting in line. And I'm like, why would you go at four thirty? But they were first. I would. And but anyway, I would totally. they the guy was like. The guy that was organizing everything was, like, super enthusiastic, but not in, like, a not in like a, f- a fun way. Kind of, like, <laughs> I don't not know how to fun. explain it. But he organized a tournament, um, and it was terrible. It was probably one of the most unorganized things I've ever experienced. But, I mean, it was fun. I got knocked out first round because I awesomely made a misclick first turn. And uh, how would you have a tournament? What, what with your starters? Or no, something? it was no, white two, white two. Yeah. Oh, you mean Gen Five? Yep. Um, okay. But the fi- the like the last match was like super hyped up, and there was like uh, it, it was 
It was pretty cool. And the winner won a free uh, uh, st- strategy guide or whatever you want to call it. Yeah. Oh, man, that's so, a good prize. That would have been cool to win. It, it would have been good if the strategy guide <laughs> was actually a strategy guide. I've heard it really sucks. <laughs> it didn't come with a Pokedex <laughs> at all. It's just like how to beat the game. But it still would have been cool to win. And, yeah, um, for sure. But So that was fun. We went home and played until 4 in the morning. And oh my it was awesome. Wow. Uh, is that is a? I want to go next. If go ahead. When the time comes, if the time is here. Okay. Time uh, is I live here. in a. <laughs> I live in a really small town, so there, we didn't have enough people to get a pre-release event. Um, but I did pre-order it and picked it up on the morning, and there was a line of, of, twenty-five-year-old men who I all knew. <laughs> 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 that's funny how it works um, yeah so I picked it up and uh, I was working but I played it on my break and uh, it was good stuff and I played it when I got home and I thoroughly enjoyed the end game um, yeah. yeah hold that thought we'll get hold that thought <laughs> yeah. we'll get um, to it I did not get a physical copy I bought it from the eShop and I did try changing the time on my DS to see if it would let me get it early. <laughs> it wouldn't. <laughs> um, mm-hmm. But I was actually, I stayed at my sister's house that night because I played a magic tournament uh, Friday night. And then whenever I usually go over and hang out with her after work, uh, after she gets off of work Fridays, because I can walk to her house from the card shop. So I was over there and her internet was, of course, not working <laughs> that one night so i had to keep uh like keep reconnecting it didn't finish downloading until about 2 a.m but uh then i played until about four probably as well i got my first badge and then passed out from lack of sleep but (laughs) (laughs) that sounds like an experience and a half so let's uh let's talk about how good the game was um i guess the best place to start would maybe be with uh, what we didn't like, because I don't think there's probably a whole lot. Uh, we may as well get it out of the way first, and then we can talk about how good this game was. Mm. So, Nick, um, any complaints about it? Yeah, I'm. Let's see. I just had something, and then I. I mean, I know I don't. I don't want to steal your thunder, but I was. I was also kind of disappointed in the lack of. Um, post game, mm-hmm. um, I would have liked to see like some kind of versus seeker, or um, something like the black, uh, black and white um, domes in what's that city called? Uh, um, no. It starts with an S. I don't know. I don't remember. Anyway, the you know what I mean the <laughs> soccer places yeah. Yeah. where you could go and you know fight and get money and items and things like that. And yeah. I also would have liked to at least see the Elite Four get upgraded or yeah, you know a few the Elite Four is after pretty the, high level. But yeah, but, yeah, but like, once you beat the, them, they only have four four guys apiece. Yeah, so, that's one of my complaints. The game but I'll felt get to that. really easy compared to it yeah. did the previous games but i mean it is aimed for kids so i'm not too upset about it and it's not that big of a deal but it just mm-hmm. would have been nice to have a more bolstered uh experience yeah mm-hmm. andy okay um yeah i enjoyed the end game like everybody else um i think my biggest complaint is the gyms just were not hard at all like they were just bend over easy especially if you had the experience share on which is a <laughs> very strange item it seems to give you experience out of thin air yeah it like it does it more. it doesn't divvy up the experience like it used to it it gives you the experience that you would have got plus extra for the party like yeah. the entire party no it has it has regular experience like for the people that per, per, uh it, what is the, what's the word I'm looking for Participate. That, yeah, that's the one. For the people that participate, they get half of what they normally would have gotten. And then everybody else gets 25%. So nobody gets 100%. But it's still, it does, yeah, it's I'm still saying, way I'm just, more I'm than just it was. Saying, I'm just saying it's not I mean, like. 
Yeah, I kept it on the whole game, and my starter was level 80 when I got to the Elite Four. Mine, I beat the I Elite Four with level 75s. Yeah, oh. no grinding. Like, I just played the game. Yeah. I played it thoroughly, but still. I don't think I used the experience share as much as you guys because I was only at, well, like, the 60s. Yeah. So. Well, I, I kept it on because I kept switching my team around because I wanted to use all these new guys. And it's amazing for letting you actually play with new guys because it does get them caught up pretty quickly. Yeah, it's good for leveling, and it's <laughs> yeah. good. the The grinding experience is really cut down, and that's good. But as far as the game, I mean, the the game. I think this is the the highest level um, uh, the games ever really get. Because, yeah. like in Victory Road, you're fighting people with like levels 60s. high sixties. Sixties, yeah. The champion's yeah. high is 68. And that's that's another point, because I, I think if the Elite Four was improved, they would have, like, level 100s, so mm. that would be kind of silly, because um, they're, like, level 60s, 70s. They could just put them to, like, 80s. So, 80s, yeah, mid-80s. It would be nice if they had more Pokemon. Or but at least, the Elite yeah, Four, give it, them a full roster the second time around. Even that would have been nice. But the Elite Four is um, is pretty tough, uh, despite only having the couple guys. Yeah, the guys they did have were good. I thought that the whole actually, chamber uh, thing was really cool. Yeah. I actually thought some of the Elite Four members were harder than the champion. I steamrolled her. I had the <laughs> hardest with water. Yeah, the water guys. Yeah, water is definitely just tough. Tore me apart. His ability is insane, you know. It gives a 50% boost to certain attacks. Yeah, it had Dark Pulse, Pulse Aura Sphere, yeah. Uh, yeah. Like Dragon Pulse, and something yeah. else. Probably it's like Game Freak out. only makes one new pure water Pokemon, but it's amazing. <laughs> it's, it's like, here you go. But anyway, what, what, uh, what, what, uh, what else should I have to say? Oh, oh yeah. Wait, wait, yeah, I'm not done. No. I'm yeah. not done. Uh, uh, the team bad guy was was kind of cool. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. But it's it was very uh, same e. It didn't make it. I mean, easy. it was pretty dark actually. <laughs> yeah. Like, like it, if you actually the, really examine the plot, it's quite quite dark. But <laughs> you know, after you beat them, they never come up again. Nobody ever talks about them again. Well, the elite four people mention them, but it's like I don't know. If there was something post game you could do with Team Flare, that'd be cool. But yeah, I'm actually not that bothered by the lack of post game because uh, there's tons of stuff for me to do, like battle mason and and training. And there actually are places to level up your Pokemon. Um, in the big city, you can go to those restaurants. Mm, yeah, like and wow. have train. There are like four of them. Like uh, Le Yeah has level 60s, and then there's another one. That you can only go to when you're famous, and I assume it has like level 80s or something. I actually heard that it's the equivalent of a restaurant that you overpay for, and the experience is terrible. Like, is it really? Yeah, it's... like, I, where did I just read it? Uh, okay, here it is. Uh, <laughs> crap. Uh, it says, it's a reference or joke to how there are fancy overpriced restaurants that offer nothing more than status symbols compared to other places. That's why it, or only famous people can go there and the food isn't that good. <laughs> so it's like you I go there and you lose $200,000 even if you are using the prize power money and yeah. amulet coin. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of I kind of like how um, the the value of money has actually, you know, matters... Because usually in Pokemon you have you can get infinite money super fast and it's yeah. like it's super easy and no one cares. Um, but yeah, with the with the clothes and the and the restaurants, your money will run out super fast. Can we talk about how it's awesome how you can just buy rare candies now? Well, can we wait till I? Can... I didn't. I didn't even. <laughs> oh, I didn't yeah, even sorry. know you could buy rare candies. <laughs> sorry, it's Matt's turn. I'm getting ahead of myself. Uh, yeah, but Matt needs to take his turn. Yeah. I think uh, one of mine was the, the late game stuff. Another one, which we'll talk about more next week, I'm sure, is that IV still exists. Even though they've done a lot to improve it, I know, blah, 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 Destiny not, blah, blah. doesn't matter. They suck. Um, and I guess, I, as far as things go that weren't covered, um, 
I wish they would have incorporated the Mega Pokemon a little bit more into the in game. Like you, it's this brand new like revolutionary mechanic that they created for these games and you see three other trainers that have mega pokemon in the entire length of the game you know it would be nice Mm -hmm. and and that goes with the difficulty too it'd be a little more challenging if you had to have these things maybe showing up regularly uh it just didn't it didn't seem like it was really a part of the game. We'll see. I get I, that they were trying to make it like special and rare or whatever, but then they just threw that out the window towards the end of the game because then uh, the champion has one with no explanation, and then your rival has one with no explanation. Like you were supposed to be the only one that had this this ring that did the the bracelet or whatever, but then everyone. Gets well, I it. think sh- the rival lady was with you in the tower, so maybe she got it there. But- but you had to fight over who got it, remember? There was only one. You had to fight her to get the only one. Oh, okay. <laughs> Maybe what's what, her name? What one does... Because what's her name? What, what Mega does she her? have? Because I don't think I... She even... has Absol. And then she gives really? it to you. I think, yeah. I think I killed it before it Mega Evolved, or maybe I just... No, it couldn't, because it would have Mega Evolved no matter what, before you got to attack. Just at the beginning of the Mega turn. Evolution has priority before anything. But Except she gives it to you. You have to fight her after post game. You can't get it before you beat the Elite Four. Maybe, but yeah, maybe she gives the, you the what's her name girl gave it to her. Maybe still they didn't. If that happened, they didn't explain it, and it still doesn't explain I, how the champion had one. I think that they're setting it up, and like in the next game, it will be more common. I get that. I, I kind of hope not. <laughs> that was their big thing. They should have incorporated it more into the game. To really I'm, I, I, I am surprised they incorporated it at all. I didn't think they were going to talk about it in the story. I thought it was just going to be something that you could do. Um, so I, I was slightly impressed that the gym leader was like, hey, there's this thing called Mega Evolution. And I was like, oh, okay, you're addressing it. That's good. Well, they said <laughs> they were going to. What? Yeah, you can't. I mean, you can't introduce something like that and then just not talk about not it at all. It at all. <laughs> it's well, a, like it's a new Pokemon. core game mechanic. Yeah, mm. but it, it'd be like if they introduced, like when they introduced abilities back in in third gen, if they just didn't say anything about it. Like there are people <laughs> all over the place. Tell, have you heard about how Pokemon have abilities now? Why Chatot can? I don't know. Whatever Chatot does. Like, mm-hmm. every time they've introduced a big jump, they've always... You have to. You can't just put it in there for a surprise. Did you hear about new Steel Pokemon? Yeah. <laughs> what? Nothing. I'm, just, I'm saying if they had introduced a new type and not talked about it at all. Yeah. Well, they did Anything. They did have the, uh, the fairy trainers. No. Who would briefly talk about fairies? The fairy gym was one of my favorites. Uh, Covered the yeah. rest. The fairy gym is very pretty, but uh, again, it's a uh, cakewalk. They just were all completely easy. Crusher. Even, the, even yeah. the puzzles were non-puzzles. It was like, oh, I'm going to walk to the gym leader. Or climb. <laughs> climb. <laughs> like, it was just a curvy line, but it was, there was no thought. The, the one, the last one was cool. I liked that one. That one was actually like a puzzle, a proper puzzle. Uh, the ice? No, not the ice. The one uh, that rotated. Ice was the last like gym. You. Maybe it was ice. Could you repeat the last? Yeah. Could you repeat the last thing you said? Because I didn't hear it at all. The gym <laughs> like, that was like it, a cube where the whole like panel shifted. Oh, that's the ice gym. Oh, that was the ice gym. Yeah. Oh, like the that ice gym. One. Okay. Yeah. It was that like was a the Rubik's only one that cube. Was challenging at all. The rest were literally just walking in a curvy line to the gym leader. <laughs> Fight some guys. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I, I thought that the gym was really funny because it's like it's almost like a Mario Galaxy level. Um Yeah. And yeah. They they don't explain it. They're just these floating things. I mean I mean the people are standing upside down on the ceiling and stuff <laughs> and you press buttons and it's like it's like all right. I, I see. I like the quiz one even if it wasn't. <laughs> I, hard I clearly enough. see what's going on. Yeah. Oh, um, 
Uh, I also really like the Ice Gym Leader. Like, basically admits that I. Oh, and he's cut out. <laughs> Technical difficulties. He'll be back. I'm back. He's so back. yeah. Hello. There's a problem with the call, but we're gonna go on. I'm not gonna make like, you start it. You like the Ice Gym because. Because uh, the ice gym leader basically admits that ice types are worthless. <laughs> like, he's like, yeah, I, I fight with ice Pokemon because I want a challenge. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, they, see, and, man, that I can't. So, sure, uh, <laughs> this is just, just fairy types really exasperate me because it's like, great. Sure, but ice types still need love because they're they're more worthless than they ever were now because of fairies and i'm sure no one cares how, how do you mean <laughs> how does how do they get more worthless they didn't lose or gain anything because fairy fairy uh does their job for them um and uh, they're better than x types and uh i was really hoping that uh that hail would increase their defense or something yeah, i'm really surprised but, they do that yeah, as far as I know, that hasn't happened. Hmm. Yeah, so it's like they basically have given ice types the finger. But it's like, oh no, dragon types are too powerful to nerf them, but let's not talk about ice types. I don't know. Just annoys me. But you can't really talk about that without addressing the mid game, so I'll stop. We can talk about something else. Yeah. We can talk about fairy type in game and how prevalent it was. Everything was a fairy. Jeez. Like, there were so many fairies all over the place. I didn't realize that Mr. Mime was a fairy. I did, eventually. I don't know it took why me a while. It would be a fairy. Mm, I, I, I would have liked to see more fairy uh, types, actually. I mean, that kind of. Oh, that's the other thing that we could complain about, really, because there's only 79, 69 new Pokemon or something. Yeah, there were not a lot of new Pokemon. That's true. I mean, it, at, the, at the same time, Pokemon really doesn't need a lot of new Pokemon. But it is kind of disappointing, because there's so many fairy-type combinations that would be really nice, um, but they're just not in the game yet. Yeah. I'm sure in Pokemon Z and the new, there's going to be a new Pokemon trio um, that's in the game. There's, I think oh. there's another fairy rock type or something. Yeah. yeah. But in Pokemon Z or the future games, I'm sure they'll they'll do stuff. But I was I was expecting a lot more fairies in the war, but I'm glad they retyped so many because then there would literally be like four. Yeah, <laughs> and it, it would be terrible. Which is what I was ex- I was fully expecting to only to only have like four, and for it to be kind of lame. I found that there were a lot of fairies in game, and I think it's because they had to put like retype so many just to have it be balanced at yeah. all. With- types seems like every other thing in game was part fairy type mm-hmm. it would have been kind of cool if pikachu got retyped as a fairy <laughs> well oh, there is the that other fairy. guy the D- D- or yeah, but whatever. he doesn't evolve and he's useless yeah that's he isn't a, useless there were not very many there were a lot of one stage yeah guys. i would have liked to see evolutions for halucha carbink i have, yeah I, I actually Maybe kind of key. thought there would be any one stage guys, so I'm kind of glad to see they're still a thing. Cliff Key is actually way overpowered and is awesome, so he's fine. I don't think. Way he is. I think not having stage one guys is fine. Like the whole game yeah. is about making your guys stronger and seeing what they evolve into, and those guys are kind of like, oh, this is how I am for the whole game. I hate that feeling. Like you're spending <laughs> like I did that a lot with Blue Version. Yeah, uh, like I don't remember who I was training. It was probably like Scyther or, or like Electabuzz or something like that. Where I'm like, I'm just training them and training them, and I'm like, when is this guy gonna evolve? And it gets level 100 and it never evolves, and finds out that <laughs> didn't tra- you know you can't trade it. And it's just it, that's just what it is, and it's like yeah. oh. I guess you were pretty excited about uh, gold and silver then. What? It's basically oh. the, well, sciz- the scissor. He was in the second. Oh, was he in the second gym? Yeah, no, no, it was just, just like there. I don't think you saw Scissor actually in game. Yeah, but 
Let's compare. I don't know. Second gen, gen actually had really hard gyms. Um, yeah. I wish they could do that again. Um. Oops. Ooh. Uh. Yeah. We didn't get a lot of new Pokemon, but can we talk about how good the designs were? Yeah. Oh For, yeah, yeah. For the regular yeah. guys, because oh, holy crap. It was quality over quantity this time. Yeah. For sure. Let's have, There's really I mean, only like a couple that I don't like. I don't I pretty much like them all. Any, I, don't I don't like Aromatisse yeah. at all. I think it's the most Aromatisse is piece of shit in the world. Wow. <laughs> it's like a, wearing a boa that's con- like that's taking over its body. <laughs> hey, well, you know. He's actually uh, looks pretty useful. He learns Trick Room. Uh, he's he's going to be seen in VGC a lot, I predict. Bennett learns Trick Room and gets Prankster. So, yeah, but Trick Trick Room has like <laughs> still be plus six or negative six. It goes less. <laughs> It'll um, go faster than Focus Punch. I don't know. That thing looks pretty bad, Andy. <laughs> what thing? Aromatisse. <laughs> Oh yeah, sure. <laughs> no, no, his stats aren't bad. He's got 101 HP. Got like 95 special attack. You could use that. I don't know. It's defense. I mean, his stats are uh, better than the the cupcake guy. Although let's they pick, are pretty. Similar. I mean, let's let's pick out some some standouts here. Why don't you guys take a as far as aesthetics? Two, pick your top three. As far as aesthetics. Yeah. Okay, well, number one for me is... F- well, oh, sweet. Okay. Get okay. three. Okay. I guess, mm-hmm. should we pause? <laughs> no, well, let's not pause. Let's just think about it. <laughs> you guys it are, like, writing it down. Well, typing it. Um, I'm just trying to I'll, I'll go. I know one of mine. Let's get in the other two. Actually, I probably know two. So I've only got to pick one. I do. I only have to pick one, too. Uh... Yeah, I think I have mine. Hmm. Yeah, I'm ready. Here we go. I'm pretty ready. I can't pick a last one. Uh, yeah, I got three. It's pretty easy. Are you guys set? Nope. Yep. <laughs> I can't pick a next. last one. <laughs> Mm. Yeah, they all look good. I really appreciate that, but there's so few of them. It's kind of annoying. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's why I'm having a hard time because there's not very many of them. And I'm there's to only pick one, one. I know that you guys aren't gonna pick. I mean, you guys will probably pick uh, mine. That's fine. I, that I don't care if you pick mine. We can just talk about how good he is, and then we'll agree on stuff, and it'll be great. <laughs> Okay, I got my third one. All right, so should we do? Should we all reveal number three first and then work our way up, or should we just have Nick go and go three, two, one? I don't. I, care I don't either care. Way. All right, yeah, then let's do number three together. So Nick, go with number three. Mine, I chose Pancham. Pancham Pan over Pangoro. I don't like Pangoro as much as I like Pancham. Why do you like Pancham? He's just awesome. He's so cute, and he's a badass at the same time. And he's got a little leaf. Great color scheme too. <laughs> and he's a panda. Yeah, a little bit of green <laughs> is really a, nice. He's a legitimate you, panda instead of Spinda. <laughs> Although yeah, he's a very looks solid hilarious in game. Yeah, it does. <laughs> like he he looks like a gold and silver Pokemon too. Yeah, he kind of does. Quality I like to see. All right, Andy. Who's oh. Your Okay, right. My number three is Chespin, just because I like him, and he's different, and I was very surprised <laughs> to see him. <laughs> not not really in a bad way, but it's like everybody knew that this crazy ball with Pikachu ears is going to come out, and it's going to be a monster. It's going to be like a Tyranitar situation. Um, so I'm I'm happy with him. I mean, he's... Definitely kind of weird looking, but I like his armor and stuff. And I'm, I'm hoping he gets some good egg moves. Uh, mm-hmm. I currently don't really know, but yeah, we're all still kind of waiting. 
All right. Uh, my number three is going to be Gudra. Gudra. I just think it is adorable. It's like, <laughs> it's like the dragon that you just want to give a big hug to. And in game, like it actually drips, like those little drip. <laughs> I know. Drip, and it looks so funny. It's. I, mm. You know, like all of the, it, it kind of, it almost reminds me as like a throwback to Dragonite, who was it the looks... kind of original first, like, mm. first Bad 600 guy. base stat guy <laughs> that kind of went for the cutesy, because then we got Tyranitar and Salamence and Metagross and Garchomp, who were all like super intimidating, like scary things. It's just nice to see like the, the 600 base stat guy be cute. I never yeah. realized that Gumi's eyes were actually the little green things. Yeah. I like the whole line, but Gujar is just really fun. No, Gumi has little uh, little dot nope, eyes. Those are not yeah. his eyes. Those are those are his nostrils. Oh, are they? His eyes are on the side of his head. Oh, okay. Yep. So he's my number three, and I can't wait to use the one with the hidden ability. I already have it uh, trained. The, I just have to get ability. the ability pill. Yeah. I don't think I you think can the use abil- the ability it- pill for hidden abilities. Yeah, you can't. I already tried. I already, I already yeah. tried. You can't. I it's it for it's sad. That's fine, though. Uh, hydration is extremely good. So I would just run with that. Yeah. Um, I I like Gudra fine, but at the same time, I don't because I know he's going to be on every OU team from now until the end of time. So that well, kind of that depends on how weather holds up, which we'll talk weather about. Weather holds week. up just fine. <laughs> I'll tell you <laughs> so that. So, number much. two. <laughs> number two. Number two. Go. I was just waiting for you to. Do... Okay, my number two is Greninja. Uh huh. Oh, Greninja. He's yeah, he's awesome. He's, he's probably. Uh, I don't know if he's my new favorite. Final form or not. I know you like he's him a lot. He's close to. He's at least on par with uh, for alligator for me. Like he's just I, so cool. I remember thinking he was a fake Pokemon. Hmm. <laughs> Because I saw him ahead of time, and I'm like, what? Come on. <laughs> of course, uh, the pit, the picture he was leaked in was pretty low, low quality, so it didn't yeah. look very believable. He looks really good in motion, too. I like his I, like, yeah. stance where he like throws his arm up. Yeah. It's very ninja-esque. Yeah, yeah he's a super ninja. Uh, yeah, I'm kind of surprised that uh, Matt didn't start with Froki. Um because of the ninja thing. Ninja yeah, does. I was kind of already... I, I don't know, Fennekin just... It was super adorable. <laughs> Fennekin spoke to me. Plus, yeah, I knew everybody was going to pick Froakie, so I wanted to try Really? That wasn't Froakie. Uh, so yeah. Everybody, everybody picked Fennekin. I, that was before... I think that was before the starters leaked. Like, once everyone... Like, not the... Not the the low res leak, but like the leak right before the week before it came out. Mm-hmm. Everyone's yeah. like, "Oh, holy shit, it's <laughs> Ninja!" I'm so glad that I didn't get spoiled on them. Uh, yeah. I'm not. I'm just fine with it. I, I mean, I like all three of these starters quite a bit, especially after Gen fives were abysmal. I so. um, hmm. yeah, they. I guess they were less good, but I do like Embor just because. Flaming neck beard. And, and I know you do. I hate it. <laughs> I, I know you hate it, but I like it. Anyhow, I can't wait what's to, your number two? Yeah. Number two, Andy. Go. Number two, me. Okay, number two for me is Bunnelby. Just <laughs> look at that swag-tastic face. See, he knows what's going on. He's always smirking, and he's got like... He's got big Popeye arms for ears, and... Wait, do you mean do you mean Diggersby? I, I mean Diggersby. Yeah. Oh, really? <laughs> Little form. Yeah, Diggersby. Look at this guy. <laughs> he kno- he knows all your secrets. <laughs> uh, he also gets huge power, which is nice. He's probably in my bottom five. Like, of the- <laughs> he is the best Radita ever. Andy always has a soft spot in his heart for like fat, ugly, burly. <laughs> I like Just, the ugly people. Like I like Embor, I like Garbodor, I like the ugly people. It's I like those somebody's... ones, but I don't like this guy. <laughs> like, his well, ears are so I think he's stupid. fine. He's I so think... cool. 
And what is he's and like he's the only he ground type. To. He's the only ground type besides uh, Zemon. Uh, so that does it for me. It was, um, yeah, there's a, there's a severe lack of love for ground types in this game. Yeah. Uh, well, I mean, they had to put so many fairies in. They had yeah. to make like everything that got retyped as a fairy had to go in too, and so that took up room as well. I guess. I guess. So that's my number two, and I'm sticking by him, and I'm going to train one probably tomorrow or today, and it's going to be great. Because I actually have one with uh, the huge power. so Nice. I'll have to see if I can, if I can get oh. a gooey, gooey from somebody. You can, also, you can also learn sword dance, which is pretty silly, uh, although I don't know if I have room on a set. <laughs> he gets wild charge. Yeah. I don't know why. But that's <laughs> perfect. Perfect coverage, electric ground, and then return. I'm not sure what to, what else to give him, but anyway, yeah, that's mine. Uh, somebody else can go, unless we uh, all went. No, it's me. I think <laughs> my number two. It's close. Probably Gourgeist at number uh, two. I, I knew you would love Gourgeist. Yeah. I just knew it. He is because one of the most interesting. <laughs> <laughs> but he comes in uh, four sizes, yeah. and they have each different have different stats. I really want to supersize, but... I uh, have one. I could breed you, you an egg if you want it, yeah. Uh, do, you, do they breed and they're big? Yeah, if you breed it, um, the size is based on the mother. But if you breed oh it God. with ditto, you always just get whatever size the one Oh my breeds. gosh, if you could give me one with like... <laughs> Should have decent just, IVs too. Just because oh my, gosh. my dittos have good oh. IVs. I like how I can get excited about um, breeding <laughs> again. Just the simple stuff, because, I don't know. But yeah, it's a jack-o'-lantern. I mean, Halloween's my favorite thing ever. And Ghost-type is my favorite, and it's just a jack-o'-lantern. So, I love it. It's not much to say. Yeah, he's just really, really good. <laughs> yeah. I don't think he'll be that good. Like competitively, he seems pretty bad, but that's fine. I'll use it in-game, and I will love it. Bad. <clears throat> it's bad. I don't know. I don't know. He's got some decent stats, but decent stats aren't good enough to get you anywhere anymore. You need to be decent. good. <laughs> mm. Anyhow, number one, Nick. Oh, uh, Tyrantrum. Yeah. Hands down. Favorite of this gen. Why? <laughs> it's just an awesome T Rex Pokemon. <laughs> I mean, it's like. I mean, we what did we have before this Ty- Tyranitar? Mm-hmm. And, I mean, he was okay, but I don't think he was really 100% based on a T-Rex. Yeah, he was more like a Godzilla. But this guy is awesome. He's also huge in-game. Who, Tyrantrum? <laughs> yeah, towers over it. I, I, have you seen his shiny, too? Nope. Oh, well. He's like, what does the shiny look like? like? Pure blue. Like, not like aqua blue, but like blue. Like dark blue. I don't know if I can... Let's I'm looking it up now. Mm. Oh, that's pretty cool. Uh, hmm. I'll see it someday. Yeah, he is really good. He He's, like, he would have put probably made number four on my list. I was debating whether he'd make it or not. He's really good, though. Here you go, Andy. Okay, I need to train one just because defensive stealth rock lead is quite good. Um, yeah, it's loading. Wow, it's just pure blue. <laughs> what it's pretty that? awesome. I'm hunting for one. Right, well, I'm going to start uh, pretty soon. Well, when you hunt for one, you should give me a uh, Tyrandrum. Well, Tyrant, and the name is Ty- awesome. Ty- Ty- I mean, what name did you pick? No, his just his regular name, Tyrant. Oh, Tyrant right, yeah, yeah, and yeah. Tantrum. I remember. Mm-hmm. I believe last generation one, you went on about that too, because it's great. It is good. Puns are I agree. great. <laughs> <laughs> and the fact it's that he looks like a king. Yep, and he has great. a beard and a, like a. Uh, the only thing I would have liked better than the blue shiny would have been a purple one, mm. because royalty. And I talked about yeah. that too, but he was pretty close mm. to purple though. Almost. I can excuse it. 
All right, who's your favorite, Andy? My favorite? I, I, I think know. we all <laughs> we all know. It's Malamar. It's yeah. Mister Stay Puffed. Just, <laughs> just look at look at that look at those eyes. This guy knows what's going on. And he's amazing competitively. I already had an impressive win with him once. What does he get to like make contrary work? Superpower. Uh, superpower <laughs> by level. <laughs> <laughs> and he has like what a ninety-two attack or something. Yeah. So if you have if you have full investment, then yeah. Yeah. Uh, you're gonna be good. That's cool. He, is uh, he also gets he, he also gets trick room, which I appreciate a lot. Yeah, and it looks like he could use it. He's kind of like his stats aren't that good. He but. yeah, his stats are pretty vanilla. Uh, he's got like eighty everything. Yeah. Uh, I'm looking up shiny Malamar now. I I like his design a lot too. How he's an upside down squid. I just w- yeah. like I said before, I wish his legs weren't legs. But he's also an ink, like an ink quill. At the yeah, same, I, an ink thing. I just love. Yeah. Yeah, he is. Did you, really did you see my drawing of him? Because no. Oh uh, yeah, I did. It has Where's nipples. His... <laughs> All of it had guys have nipples. <laughs> it had nipples, and he was holding a martini, and he had a monocle, and it's just great. It t- fits with the whole regal theme of the game. At least my drawing does. Not necessarily the squid guy, but. Is is that one Pokemon? There's always I always look at the list of Pokemon before the game comes out, and I look at one, and I'm like, I have to have that one. And he was that guy. <laughs> and my number one would be Dragalge. Oh really? Wow, is amazing nice. looking. I love it because I I love that the animal that it's based off of the sea dragon. I just think they're awesome looking, and it's just like a really pissed off sea dragon. <laughs> it's a poison dragon, which is really cool. Um, I was, hmm. Yeah. I was re- really hoping Gudra would be poison dragon. Like really, really hoping. Who? Gudra. Oh yeah. Just, I thought he looked like he would be fairy dragon. Fairy dragon would is, well, I thought, probably yeah. a good type. He, he doesn't look like a pure dragon, whatever he is. But yeah. Yeah, he sure he sure doesn't. But I'm glad there is a pure dragon out there who can. You know, kick some teeth in. Pure Dragon's a really solid defensive type, too. So, it's a good yeah. type. And he learns Sludge, uh, sludge Wave, so... Yeah, he learns... Um, <laughs> switch in. Poison and Water moves by level. So, it's yeah. like he's... He pretty much is it a... He basically just says, put me on your rain team. You'll like what happens. <laughs> Oh my gosh, Hydration, Vaporeon, and him with Hydration on our own team. No. I think you'd need both. Sure, why not? If you're, if, you're gonna, if you're gonna be a Drizzle guy, you might as well be a jerk all the way. But you don't have Permarain to just, like, dick around anymore. You got <laughs> five turns? Yeah. Five turns is plenty long enough to do damage. Not if you're a wall, though. Yeah, to do damage. Not if you're trying to stall. Can he I use think, rain I dance? I think weather oh. teams are going to get more. Well, that's next week. We'll get to that. Never mind. <laughs> yeah. Anyhow, Dragalge, he's awesome. He is he's pretty cool. Favorite. And how about worst? Your one worst <laughs> new design. Oh um, boy. Crap. I think we're going to say think, the same guy. I think I know mine. If mine's Aromatisse. 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 Just because of the disappointment. It's so stupid looking though. Look <laughs> at it. It's like wearing a pom pom and <laughs> it it's it's dumb. It just looks <laughs> stupid. I don't I don't Oh. I hate it. Well, expect to see him in VGC teams a lot, that's all I can say. <laughs> what, gonna... is a healer or what? Aroma veil? Healers. Uh I think it's true. Protects uh, he's allies gonna be from attacks that affect their mental state. So, like, confusion? What, what does healer do? Attraction? You just randomly kill uh, your opponent? At the end of the turn, there's a 30% chance of either ally being healed from a status condition. That's pretty good, if you ask me. Or doubles. But why wouldn't you use something... I don't know. It seems like if you want slow trick room guys, there's better choices than this But thing. he's the only fairy that can learn trick room. 
pretty sure. So, I don't know. He has a niche. Mm. I'm not saying he's perfect, but he will be used in Trick Room teams. Do you have a least favorite? Oh, me? Yep. Okay, it's my turn. Yep. Oh, man. Oh, it's... If uh, you don't know, hmm. mine's ready, so I can No, go. I... Okay. I think Scatterbug. Are we going with number three or number one? Number one. Just num- just the worst one. Scatterbug is pretty bad, but number one, I think that title... Uh, I think that title might go to uh, Barbarical. He is, a, he is a hot mess. I thought you'd like him. <laughs> no, I love him. I love what he can do. I don't like what he looks like. <laughs> Like I don't know. See, I think he's kind of got the Garbodor complex going on, where he's so ugly, it's somehow appealing. But he has a hand for a face. I know. What's I named my deal face. with that <laughs> face <Baseball>. palm. <laughs> Perfect. I mean, he kind of kind of has a Machamp thing going on, and I can appreciate that because I like Machamp. But it's I don't know. I, I'm not denying that he's I hideous think- to look at, but it's so bad that it's somehow. I think Binacle enticing. looks worse than Barbarical. Yeah, I don't know what's going yeah, on. Yeah, Bina- I was I was conflicted to choose him or Barbarical. They're they're kind of tied for worst. Binacle, Although- how does it move around? It has to like step on its face to move. Who cares? It floats. <laughs> no one. Pokemon logic doesn't begin to I, make yeah, sense. How does Barbarical touch anything without gouging out his own eyes? <laughs> <laughs> well, he's got. What Can did you he imagine give us? how seven, awful it would be? He's got seven hands to choose to from. To live in a world where you could only <laughs> pick things up with your eyeball. Like, what if it's hot or cold or pointy? The life yeah. is hell for Babarical. <laughs> yeah. But he is pretty much what Krussel should have been, so I appreciate yeah. that. Like yeah, his, he seems like he could be decent. Wait, what's his. His special defense is 86. That's yeah. pretty darn high. Yeah. Um, What's yours, Matt? So he can actually he can take a single special hit without dying. I know for a uh, fact. Uh, mine is I think Carbink <laughs> because Carbink. it's just completely forgettable. It's a rock. <laughs> like I don't you know, think... Babarical is hideous, but you're gonna remember it exists. I don't know. Carbink, Carbink is has the guy in this generation. You just forget was a thing. I don't know. He has really good stats. Yeah. He's basically Shuckle, and I think everyone's going to hate on him, but I think if you run the Shuckle set of, like, Toxic Rest, Stealth Rock, and whatever, it'll probably yeah, work He's, fine. like, a better, a better Shuckle, but we're just talking about design. I'm not talking about... Yeah, yeah but, it, but if he's that good, then he's he won't got, be forgettable. You know I don't I mean? think he's going to be that good. He, uh, but, he's got, he looks better in the game, uh, cause he's got cute a little, little fairy bit, eyes. But he's got like he Pikachu just, ears at a rock and, I don't know. He's just kind of like a rock. It's like, <laughs> you go, it's like you, you go into the cave, you know, and everyone catches the first thing they get and someone ends up being Charlie Brown and they're like, what'd you get? <laughs> I got a rock. I got You're a carving. About it. I got a carving. Yeah. yeah. Left key is not great either. I think he- Design what do you wise. think of Bergmite? Bergmite. See, so you don't even know who he is. Oh, right. <laughs> uh, you mean White Supremacy Man? <laughs> what? <laughs> he looks like he's got a clan hood on. He's you guys see hood things on. that I do not see. I don't know. Um, I you see it. You need to have eyes. He's just a lagmite. I mean, I don't... <laughs> I mean, just be glad it's not. He didn't get introduced in black and white because it's <laughs> like America Town. All right, uh, let's talk about how pretty the game was too. Just oh yeah, in general, yeah. Should, did I talk about my least favorite, or did I? Yeah, even... you did. You said it was Bavarical. Oh, we weren't going to count down. No, no. <laughs> We're already going you said on Scatterbug uh, first, and then I said we're not going to count down, and then you said Bobarical. <laughs> All right, whatever. We're already okay. going on an hour, just so you know. Yeah. So this game was gorgeous. Yeah, uh, that, that is the biggest strong point of yeah. X and Y. It is absolutely Everything gorgeous. Everything looked amazing. Yeah. The roots were fantastic. The Pokemon looked so good yeah. in 3D, and the, the animation for them was 
stellar. Most mm-hmm. of them were a couple that weren't that great, but in general, like sometimes I would just let the game sit on the battle screen and just watch them move. They look so good. And like all the this is my favorite region, like aesthetically by far. Like this region was the most flavorful, the most the the prettiest, I think. Yeah. It, it felt the most like alive. Where, yeah. I think the 3D really helped that, though. Yeah, I'm sure it did. But, oh, oh, the 3D is kind of temperamental in this game. You can only turn it on when you're in a battle or like, something. I meant like space-wise 3D, not like stereoscope. Oh, 3D. right. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, it's it's very good. I mean, there were just so many like roots that just felt so unique. Like you, you knew that you were somewhere special, and that I got that feeling a lot going through this game like i thought black and white 2 the environments were com- well black and white and black and white 2 like they were just completely forgettable i don't remember anything about them really except that there was a desert <laughs> <laughs> i i liked uh one of my favorite parts was the boss fight and that cutscene. like or we you know with the uh, legendary Team Flare thing, yeah, yeah. Like, the, that yeah. Team oh, was so Flare showdown cool. was quite good. That that little side story too, with the the guy and the 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 giant and the <laughs> he was huge, <laughs> he was so big. Like that should have been the the story for the game. Like that, the three minutes of time that he had in that game were more emotionally impactful than that, the entire yeah, the plot, the, story. The plot is three minutes long. Yeah, <laughs> it's it's a good three minutes, but it's over. Yeah, when it's over. The last like when you have to. Oh, well, I'm not gonna. No, spoil we're doing it, spoilers. We're doing get, spoilers. Okay, well, where we fight keep them like two weeks to finish. Where you the game. fight him? Yeah, and then the like the cool and looking for Bebe, like that. I wish you could catch in real life, because it was the maybe shape, it'll be an event. It was the it was shape as the uh, the thing. Yeah, the flower. Yeah. Was a flow oh yeah, yeah, you're right. Well, whatever. It was a flow same thing. Wow. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> but it, it finally forgives him. Say that to the giant guy. King Az. <laughs> king Az. So let me get this straight. That that is the king of old of uh, Europe Pokemon old land Kalos, or something. Yeah. Yeah. Kalos. He was That's weird. Once. But okay. yeah, like, and then I let the game go for like ten minutes on the music when you're fighting the legendary. Mm. It was really good. Oh, uh, I have to interject here. When you go to um, when you do a uh, spot battle and you do random matchup, you get to select from what is it like twelve different music things? Yeah. Wait, what? Yeah, you get to choose from twelve different songs to fight to in random matchup. Oh, why can't you do that in like friend matchups? That's weird. Uh, because the game sucks sometimes. I don't know. But um, I think um, song number nine, maybe it's the legendary song, but it's a, a remix of the red and blue uh, battle theme. I just and heard a bike. Is, yeah. Somebody's, you heard a bike. Somebody's playing. That would be easy. <sighs> no, that's my sister, actually. Yeah. I have my sound turned off for you guys. <sighs> she just turned it up. <laughs> <laughs> um. What was I talking about? Music. The music. Yeah. Yeah. I uh, yeah, I think just the great. the production quality in general was just taken to the next level with this game and it really shows. Yeah. It's drastically yeah. better than anything we've had before. I really like the trainer portraits when you fight people. Mm hmm. Yeah. Really pretty. So, who knows, maybe next time we can get a real plot. <laughs> Oh, I fully expect a plot to never show up. And I'm kind of <laughs> with it. Yeah. Because it's all Any- about make, making the Pokemon fight and kill each other. <laughs> That's fine. We did get in, in, like, the first official... I guess it wasn't the first, but a very strong official statement that Pokemon can die in battle. Yeah, there's a lot of really dark stuff going yeah. on. Like, uh, like Has anybody uh, heard everybody? about that... <laughs> like that ghost lady in the big town. What? Where? 
There is a ghost uh, lady. Is a hex trainer. If you go to a very specific location, where she will glide uh, next to you and say you're not the one. Oh, yeah. and then Nobody oh, really knows about that okay, yet. Yeah. yeah. And so they, that's nightmares for kids, right there. They've always done like when it comes to the ghosts, they've always done stuff like that. <laughs> like in black and white crappy. too, there was the person that, that like helps. killed yourself. Yeah. Oh, there's a guy who kills himself in this game too. Uh, my sister was just talking about it. Like you like trade this Pokemon to this old guy, and then he's like, "I can't take care of him anymore because I'm dying." <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I like how there was one guy that's like, I used to uh, I used to give my wife silk scarves, but but I think you could use them better or something like that, and it made it seem <laughs> like he was like trying to hit on you. <laughs> oh. The way he well, worded maybe. it was more provocative than how I said it. Yeah, some some minus. of the uh, some of the language. Also, there was a first is... romantic moment in a Pokemon game. I don't uh, know. With the rival and the f fireworks. Uh, I guess. Um, yeah. If we can call it that. <laughs> There's you. Yeah, you, you count can... the creepy. Ferris wheel rides with strangers and black and white. <laughs> I think the first truly romantic uh, moment is when you're in the Ferris wheel with N. Yeah. It, does, it doesn't matter if it's you're a like guy or girl. You, things like are getting hot and heavy in there. Yeah. Like the windows are steaming up and. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. It's there's Tumblr that guy, all there's, there's that guy that's peeking in Erica's gym. Yeah, see, that was pretty good. <laughs> 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 <There's, laughs> That's something else. Uh, and then there's May, of course. Mm. It basically hits on you in the first dialogue sequence. <laughs> Not that it really matters, because she's ten. And it doesn't matter. Because it's Pokemon, and it's stupid. As far as the plot goes. Because, you know, May never really amounts to anything. No, she's terrible. <laughs> Which, uh, do you get to fight the rival lady again? Like, when you beat the game? Does anybody know that? Which one? The main rival? The main rival who's yeah. actually content. That's when she, she says the, the Absolite. Oh. Oh, okay. That's well, post game. That. Yeah. Okay. That's how you have to do that to get all the other mega stones. Oh, cool. <laughs> you should get uh, on. I still haven't done it either, Andy. Don't feel bad. I don't feel bad. <laughs> uh yeah. Yeah, just go to the north of the the last town, and she'll be up there waiting for you. That's when she uses Mega Absol. That's why you haven't seen it yet. Oh, cool. Well, how come nobody's used Mega Absol yet, like on battle videos and stuff? It's really weird. I don't know. I haven't looked at his stats. I don't know if he's any good. Oh, yeah, I should probably check that out, too. Anyhow, we should probably wrap this episode up, <laughs> since we're not too far over time yet. No, nah, we're right we on. did a pretty decent job staying on task, too. Yeah, well, this is going to be a, maybe under an hour. I mean, when we cut out the beginning bits, it'll be fine. So, uh, I guess to close off, why doesn't everyone... <laughs> I don't know. What should we do? List your in-game team that you finished uh, with? We finished with? Oh, crap. Let yeah. me uh, have to load up my image account because I saved it. Ah, <laughs> you saved it. Oh, man. Okay. Mine was, oops. Mine was uh, Greninja, Dubblade, because I could never find a Dust Stone, and Eviolite Dubblade really helped. Um, Charizard, Gengar, Tyrantrum, and Dragalge. Wow, you had Dragalge? That's cool. That's a cool team. What was yours? Uh, my team was I had uh, Florgus and I, I had Chespin and I had uh, Dublade with Eviolite and I had uh, Malamar and I had Barbarical and what else did I have? Uh, hmm. Is that six or is that not six? Uh, I don't was, remember. No. <laughs> oh, oh, I, I had uh, Talonflame as well. Talonflame. Nice. I think that's pretty much it. I might have had an HM Slave. It wasn't that great. 
<laughs> my starter teams are usually pretty bad. No, it's in game. So yeah. Uh, mine was uh, Delphox, Gorgeous, uh, Aegis Slash, because I did the super training before. Like, I just sat down and did it for my in game team one, one day to unlock all the stuff. So I got a Dust Stone by doing that. Oh, cool. Uh, Dragalgy that Nick traded me. And Aurorus. It was really Ooh, cool. Aurorus. Yeah. It's terrible. It's like the worst. <laughs> oh, I know. Thing, but I wanted, I'd wanted i never be able to use it anywhere else. I wanted to use it in-game. I know. It's terrible. I fully understand. <laughs> yeah. What's his hidden ability? Uh, uh, it gets snow it warning, gets snow actually. Warning. Yeah. I imagine that would stuff. probably it be a little still better. manages to somehow be worse than uh, Obama Snow, uh, yeah. Snow. Yeah. It's, it's pretty sad. <laughs> Alright, well, that's going to do it, guys. Thanks for listening. Come back next time when we get into the competitive stuff. I'm sure we'll have lots of speculation and probably a few good arguments. And a story. Oh, yeah. We'll have and a, a story. story from Agro. Nick's going to tell us another story. Because I have Uncle, a tournament. So. <laughs> Uncle yeah. Agro is going to tell <laughs> us a story. And just jump on Pop Pop Slab. And That's get, Andy. Get ready. You can sit on Andy's lap, and I'll tell you the story. <laughs> <laughs> sure, sure. Uh, so I just want to say before we leave that uh, when uh, when I am next to another person playing Pokemon, it says Robotnik is near, and that's really <laughs> creepy. <laughs> that's <Nearby>. wonderful. <laughs> Well, it's the same thing. Nearby. Ninja is nearby. I'm like, oh no! <laughs> I know you're there. You can't hide. <laughs> There's a ninja. <laughs> All right. Well, I guess we'll yep. see. Make you sure you uh, give us a thumbs up if you yeah. Subscribe. And subscribe. subscribe to us. Otherwise, we'll do nothing. So and get ready. Actually, listen to this because not many people do. But well, that's okay. Yeah, some people do. Some people do. The we guy in the red shirt. I used to only get one view, and now I get like. 12. Nice. So, like, hey. <laughs> something like that. Nice. I don't know. 1200% improvement. <laughs> Anyhow. Later, guys. <laughs> See ya.